Hey kids, this is Ivan. How you doing? Today I wanted to make a really short video and, and kind of solicit some opinions. Um, if you play Limitations of the Flame Princess, you're, you're going to understand what I'm talking about better uh, and probably be a little bit more qualified to answer, but maybe not really. So the idea is this. I already made a video about, you know, having a game with no PC casters, which is not what I want to do, but, um, you know, talk to some people uh, about um, the idea of maybe, maybe somebody you want to play kind of a fighter-thief combination. Uh, and that might be kind of fun. And some people are get a little bit, you know, bummed out that they can only be a fighter or, or only be, you know, a specialist in this game, you know. Uh, so I was thinking, like, what would be the best way to do that? You know, of course, the easiest way to do something like that would just be, okay, what's well, going to cost you double, you know, in the classic way to do that. So now it's going to cost you 3500 because in that game, the fighter's 2000 first level, you know, uh, to second level, and the fight, uh, thief costs 1500 uh, but that's a little bit much, and I don't know if I really want the characters to be that powerful, to be quite honest with you. So I'm thinking of some kind of like a compromise. Uh, and so I was thinking maybe just to have them do like the magic user XP, so 2250. So it's going to be a bit of a hit because um, you're, you're mostly a thief or you know specialist with some fighter perks if you want to buy them. And you know the easiest way to buy them uh, is to use the D6 pips you'd get you know normally. So I'm thinking something like, you know, if you want to go up on your attack bonus by plus one, you've got to spend two D6 pips. You know, if you don't know, at first level, the, the specialist gets four of them to spread around the various abilities, you know, um, that anybody can do on a one in six chance. And these aren't just like little sneak and, and whatnot. These, you can even do things like uh, bushcraft and be kind of more of like a ranger uh, or uh, architecture and be a little bit more of a tomb raider dwarf, you know, kind of understand all, what all that is. To be honest with you, the way the game is written, you can kind of apply it to just about anything. You can specialize in whatever the heck you want to. So uh, you're going to you're going to burn a couple of these D6 pips um, and go up by one in your attack bonus instead. Uh, every other level after first, you only get two. So if, if this uh, this fighter thief combination wants to go up an attack bonus, he's going to have to burn both D6 pips in order to do so. So you kind of have to decide any given level: do I want to increase in my fighter abilities or in my thief abilities? So I, I kind of like that kind of vibe. It's, it's a bit of an XP uh, hit, but, you know, you're doing a lot in that case. Uh, the only other thing I was kind of uh, toying around with is the, what I call the Fighter Suite, for lack of a better uh, in, in name. And that's the other abilities you get as a fighter. You know, um, only fighters can uh, press, which means they get a plus two to hit at, at the expense of having a negative four to their armor class. And all, they can only, um, they're the only ones that can actually uh, fight defensively, so they can add two to their armor class and take a, a negative four to hit penalty. Um, nobody else is really that flexible. And when anybody parries a blow, they get a plus two to their armor class, but a fighter gets a plus four. You know, you decide to forego your action and parry instead. So the fighters are better than that. The other thing that's not straight out of Lamentations of the Flame Princess, but I talked about not so long ago, um, using an old rule from Delving Deeper. And the idea is that the fighter, when they fight normal people, which in this case are, means like less than three hit dice, they're able to have their level and attacks uh, against these opponents. So if you're like a fourth level fighter and you're fighting people that like say have two hit dice, like some gnolls or some normal men or whatever, you get four attacks against these people. You don't get your normal attack bonus. You pretty much straight, you, you know, roll straight d20s. And as far as damage, you get straight d6 damage. Nothing, nothing fancy, but you can hit a lot of people, and that's actually kind of cool. So I was wondering, do I make that, you know, do they make them buy that for like a pip or something or a couple of pips? But I'm thinking maybe like the first time around, first time they buy a, uh, a uh, you know, um, a bonus to attack bonus, maybe they do that. I'm guessing most people would want to do that first level. Uh, so maybe maybe the first time they spend those two D6 pips, I'll be nice and say, okay, you get the fighter suite from now on. Um, so that's what I'm thinking of. So I'm wondering about any kind of opinions. Do you think that's uh, balanced or fair? You know, I'm sure there's other ways to, uh, I don't care about balance. I think it's fair. Um, I think it might work. Uh, any other ideas people have, I'll just send them my way. That's it.